Okay, what we're going to talk about today is uh, we're going to start a little bit of herbal preparations kind of thing, and we're going to make a salve today. Uh, this is not really a start-to-finish kind of process. Uh, what actually happens is, is uh, you need a carrier to infuse the properties from the plants that you want into. Uh, I'm going to start out with a uh, infused oil, which is going to be part of the preparation for a salve. Uh, so step one is going to be an infusion of whatever you're using for a carrier. Uh, we're not going to get into all the complicated stuff, uh, which could be uh, a double infusion or things like that. We're just going to do a basic infusion, and that's where we're going to start out. Uh, I've already got some infused oil because infusing the oil actually takes some time. Uh, you can do a hot infusion or a cold infusion, uh, however you want. A cold infusion takes longer. Uh, uh, a hot infusion doesn't take as long, but if you use a le very low heat, you can get a really good uh, extraction into an oil uh, using a low temperature. You really don't want your oil to go over 140 degrees, 160 absolute max, and you really don't want to get there. Uh, you can do an infusion at 100 degrees for an extended amount of time. Uh, you can do a cold infusion for an extended amount of time, and I'll explain those as I go. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to start a hot infusion, but it's going to be a uh, heat the oil, apply it to the plant material, and let it set. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Uh, as an alternative, you could do the, infu the long-term infusion, like I said, uh, I do this in a crock pot a lot of times. Uh, most crock pots, they want to be at about 160, uh, but you want a crock pot that you can set at 120 to 140 degrees, uh, somewhere in there, and let it go for eight hours or so. Uh, but that's not what we're going to do today. We're just going to do a hot oil on uh, uh, plant material, and then that's going to set for a few days. Okay, And I've already got some oil done, so we don't have to wait. Uh, but I'll show you how to do the infusion first, and uh, then we'll move that into making the salve. So, uh, let me reposition the camera and be back with you. Alright, I'm just going to do this on my induction burner today. Out here in the lab. This is just olive oil. I'm really only making enough to do one jar of infused oil. So basically we're just gonna put this oil in here and let it get heated up. I'm not gonna bore you with watching that. So uh, I'm going to hit uh, pause here real quick, and we'll come back to this in a few minutes. Okay, while my oil has been heating up, I went out and collected some jewel weed down here in the bottom, and some plantain up here in the top, kind of just ripped the leaves in half. Uh, some preparations, uh, they lend themselves to the extraction better with dried herbs, some better with uh, fresh herbs. Uh, fresh herbs actually take a longer extraction time because there's still a lot of water and so on and so forth in the plant. Uh, but some herbs, uh, like jewelweed, does not uh, take well to drying. So my oil is almost hot over here. But as you can see, I've got some head space left in here. Some empty space. Alright. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take our hot oil and we're going to pour that into the jar. And we want that to cover the herbs completely. And basically, what I'm going to do, jar's very hot. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the lid on this. Wow. And uh, I'm just going to let this set for a couple of weeks. Uh, let me get.
get the lid on here. Now this is pretty much like a tincture, how we're going to keep this going. I'm going to get the lid on good and tight. And then about once a day, I'm just going to come in here and turn it over. So I keep the keep all of the, all of the plant material covered up. That's an old jar. It's got a little rust on the ring. Anyway, not inside. Doesn't matter. All right. So basically, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that off to the side and going to let it let it sit for a couple of weeks. All right. Next step in producing a salve. I'm going to take about a cup of beeswax pellets. And then a cup of pre-made infused oil. This is about a month or two old, maybe. And I'm going to move the camera again so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, into my bush pot is going to go that one cup of oil. Or one cup, yeah, one cup of oil. Not one cup of oil, that's one cup of beeswax pellets. Into that cup of or in the, into that cup of beeswax pellets, we're going to add about a cup of that infused oil. Now you'll see here what I started out with with that olive oil. See that color? This is what it this is what it looks like after it's been infused. We're going to let that put that in there and let it all melt in together. And then we'll be back. All right, I've got this ready to go. This is what we're looking for. Everything all melted down the way it's supposed to be. Now this is a 50-50 mix. So this salve will be a little soft. If you can make a salve, then you can make an ointment. You can make a balm. You can make chapstick. You can make deodorant. It's all basically the same thing. Uh, it's just the ratio of how hard it's going to end up being. And you change that by, if this salve turns out too soft, I will remelt it down and add some beeswax to make it a little harder. If it's too hard, I'll add some more liquid to it. Uh, some vitamin E, some coconut oil, something like that. You want it to smell good, throw some coconut oil in there. Of course, coconut. we all know coconut oil is really good for your skin. Uh, and it's got medicinal properties all on its own. This is a jewel weed and plantain salve. This is going to be good for uh, rashes, uh, bites and stings. Uh, it's got plantain in it, so it will have some minor drawing properties. Uh, it's just an all-around good salve. I make a lot of this every year. So uh, once this uh, cools down and hardens, we'll come back and check on it. All right, this salve is ready to go. Scrape a little out here. It's just about right where I would want it. Not so soft that I can push my finger all the way down into it easily, but I can still scrape it off the top here. If I wanted this to be a little softer, uh, I could add some more oil to this, remelt it and add some more oil. Uh, if I wanted it to be harder, like something like this, I would remelt it and add some beeswax. Uh, this has to be hard in order for the screw in this uh, dispenser to be able to push the salve up. If it was too soft, the screw would just hollow out the center. Uh, if I was making a like a lip 
balm, like chapstick or something along those lines in one of those dispensers. I'd want this to be just a touch softer. Otherwise, this came out well. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching. See y'all in the woods.